नमस्ते अस्त भगवन्श्वराय महादेवायत्रकायकालाय कालाद्राय नीलकंठा मृत्युंजयाय सर्वेश्वराय सदा शिवाय श्रीमन्महादेवाय नम नमस्ते अस्त भगवन्श्वराय महादेवायत्रकायकालाय कालाद्राय नीलकंठा मृत्युंजयाय सर्वेश्वराय सदाशिवाय श्रीमन्महादेवाय नम ओम नमस्ते अस्त भगवन्श्वराय महादेवायत्रकायकालाय कालाद्राय नीलकंठा मृत्युंजयाय सर्वेश्वराय सदाशिवाय श्रीमन्महादेवाय नम सुखम स्थिरम आसनम फर्मिंग अप द सीट पॉस्चर इज इंपॉर्टेंट माइंड head neck and back one line eyes softly closed the eyeballs positioned as though they are looking at the tip of the nose hands clasped in front of the lap thumbs gently touching long deep full breaths mindful breaths i take the time now to arrive with every inhalation i abide deeper in my body aware of my presence every exhalation i let go of the out i let go of all the distractions that keep me from being present a few rounds of this to really be present now
nothing to do, nowhere to go, nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Next step is to keep the external world outside. How is this accomplished? I visualize a range of mountains. In relation to these mountains, I find myself appreciative, non-demanding, objective, and contented. I do not have an agenda for the mountains. I do not wish for them to be taller, bigger, or have fewer peaks. This is how the mountain range is and I am happy with that. Next, I visualize a river, flowing river. Here again, it is easy to see that I am a non-demanding, appreciative, objective, and a contented person. I do not wish the river to be smaller, bigger, faster, or slower than what it is. Next, I see with my mind's eye a meadow of flowers. Here again, it is easy to be appreciative, non-demanding, objective, and contented. Can I have this same appreciation that I can easily command 
for things in nature, can I have this same appreciation for people? Perhaps. People in general. This attitude is easy to command as long as one doesn't have prejudices based on ethnicity, race, nationality, gender. etc. What about people that are close to me? I visualize the mother. Here, it is very easy to see the difference between the mountain range and the mother. The mountain range is purely outside. The mother, both outside and under the skin, internalized. Om Namaha, Om Namaha, Om Namaha, Retaining the affection, love, caring for the mother. I give myself the time to see the mother, how she was, how she is, in my perception. This is how mother was. This is how mother is. The phrase, in my perception, is rather important. I have the freedom to be right or not. Now, I take the time to grant the mother freedom to be who she was, who she is. Father, I visualize. This is how father was. This is how father is in my perception. Retaining the caring, the love, I take the time to grant the father the freedom to be who he was, who he is, in my perception. The extent that I'm able to do this is the extent I am free of carrying 
the inner father and the inner mother in the form of expectations. Unmet, unmeetable, frozen expectations. These expectations comprise the body of the internalized father and the mother. I let go. I let them be. I grow when I let go. I let them be. I can more clearly see. Callous expectations, Namaha. Fears, anxiety, tears. Namaha, I let go. Promises unkept. Namaha. Betrayals. Namaha. Injustice. Namaha. Hurt. Namaha. Regret. Namaha. Wishes. Namaha. Plans. Namaha. I let go. I visualize myself gathering all these emotions, expectations, putting it at the feet of the Lord. Om Namaha Om Namaha Om Namaha Om, Om, Om. I pray for the courage to change the things I can. for the grace to accept the things I cannot change, for the wisdom, the discrimination to know the difference between the things I can and cannot change. Now I visualize my own body. Can I be an appreciative, non-demanding, contented and objective person in relation to the body?
हे भगवन आई एम टायर्ड ऑफ ट्राइंग टू मेक दिस बॉडी समथिंग इट इज नॉट I let go. This is how the body is. If we look deeply at the body, we just see all of nature. My bones are crafted from the earth the air in my lungs is no different from the air that i encounter outside the spaces in the stomach between the joints is just what it is space the fire agni is the temperature the body maintains is the fire of hunger vaishvanara water flows as the river outside and as the blood within i am one with the elements with god's nature prakriti I'm connected to all that there is. From land to sea from tree to tree it is all but me om namaha om namaha om namaha bringing the mind into focus can i be an appreciative non demanding objective and contented person with regard to the mind
storehouse of thoughts, storehouse of emotions, Ishvara's creation. Fascinating, frustrating, and a little mysterious is the mind. I train the mind to be objective with the help of a mantra. Reverentially placing Om Namah Shivaya in the mind. I make a sankalpa, an intention to chant. Begin the chant now. Watching the spaces between the charms helps reduce distractions. I let the chant stop. In this vastness, it is easy to discover myself as an appreciative, non-demanding, objective and contented person. 
I choose now to reclaim my nature. I choose now to protect this from the subjectivity that can shadow the mind sometimes. Hey Bhagavan, let clear skies shine in the antah karana, the heart. With your grace, let the subjectivity, shadows of wrong perception, be kept at bay. Each time I surrender to you, let there be more and more of you and less and less of me in me, as me. Let me grow in objectivity and compassion. Let me be free. Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Hi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Hi Om